ventured across vast landscapes, exploring new worlds with limitless adventure awaits. I have reached the highest of my level, and I have risen defiantly against all those that threaten the peace of my kingdom. I am a hero. I am a legend. I am Severin. I'm Severin. I'm a level 85 Blood Elf Paladin. I'm a Grand Crusader, and I'm a proud member of the Horde. In my spare time, I like to ride around on my Spectre Tiger and stand around in Ogrimmar. I have killed the Leech King. I am a Lore Master. I have over 9,000 achievements. Over 160 points, pets. Over 125 mounts. Sorted with 50 factions. A master chef. I have a Raven I'm Lord. I'm an Explorer. An Imani Five Proto Drakes. Sixteen Dragons. Round first. Celestial Light Dragon. Light of Dawn. Achieved. Kingslayer. Star killed. Killed. Exalted. Defeated. Conquered. And I enjoy long walks on the beach. I used to wake up early. Log on. Play all day. And then go to sleep. That was my routine for over 400 days of my life. But hey, I wanted Severin to be powerful, so I set up my own raiding guild, QT Yacht Club. It was like a community where people could be social and raid together. I used to run everything, lead the raids, maintain the website, deal with recruitment, but raiding required a lot of time. It was like a team sport. You'd have to play together to defeat the hardest bosses in the game. But when you win, you are rewarded with the most powerful gear. Me and my guild started gaining a pretty good reputation. People I didn't even know would message me and tell me how amazing I was. I felt like a celebrity. I even attracted girls. One of them came to visit me in London from Norway. And uh, yeah, we hit it off pretty well. After we met in London, we talked and played all the time. We had a lot of fun together, and it really felt like it could lead to something. I really wanted to visit her in Norway, but I couldn't, because I was about to start university. A new expansion had also just been announced. So I decided to take a gap year. I wasn't ready for university, so it felt like the right thing to do. So I booked a flight, and I was off to Norway. I was really excited to see her again. My heart was shattered. I wanted to go home, but I had other friends in Norway, so I stayed with them and I played Warcraft. However, I did feel kind of stupid. I was in this beautiful country and I was just sitting in this guy's basement. For most of my gap year, I felt very isolated from the world. Running my guild felt like a full-time job. It got so bad that I started making up excuses to my friends to avoid going out, as I felt embarrassed telling them that I was actually raiding. Yeah, that wasn't quite true. I didn't really have an aunt who died. I made her up, and after I made up a few more, my friends stopped inviting me altogether. And instead of spending money, going out and having a good time, I used to spend it on Severin. I spent £500, and I treated Severin to a spectral tiger. When university started, it felt like the perfect chance to turn my life around. The first few weeks went well. But then, the guild couldn't function without me, and I couldn't cope managing a guild and starting this brand new social life. So I made the hard decision, and I disbanded my guild. It wasn't easy. I felt that part of me had been ripped out and deleted. 
It should have ended there really, but I couldn't stop playing. Another expansion had just been announced, and I really wanted to play it. It looked awesome. And then one day, I was looking through my subscription history. It dawned on me, I started playing on Valentine's Day 2005. I have been single for six years. Is this what I really wanted? To be alone and playing Warcraft and wasting my life? No, of course not. So I thought, screw this, and I quit the game. I started to screw my head back on. I joined the gym, and when I noticed the results, I knew it was really paying off. I really started to enjoy myself. I felt alive again. I was having fun with people. I even started DJing, something I never would have dreamed of doing. And I couldn't believe what I'd been missing. And what of Severin now? Well, he is frozen in time. Warcraft is going on around him. The game never ends. It's always ongoing, even when you're not playing. The funny thing is, even when I was making the film, people still told me how amazing Severin was. But it doesn't really mean anything outside of the game. And nobody is going to hire me based on my gear score. Leaving Warcraft opened my eyes again and made me realise it's far more rewarding to achieve your potential in real life. <laughs>